Have you ever felt like life is passing you by while you're just standing still? You're not alone. Picture this. One day, you wake up and you realize you're on the road that leads nowhere. I've been on that crossroad. My name is Benjamin, and I'm making this video for those who feel stuck, who suffer, or who need guidance. To get to a new place, the only way is to step forward and to get moving. So I'm going to share with you right now the strategy that helped me to get from being completely stuck in the hospital, not being able to do anything, having doctors around me, not knowing if I could get my normal life back, to living my full life with a full-time job, having a dog, having a loving relationship, and starting my own business. I invite you to watch the video till the end because the last part of my strategy is the most important one. It will make the difference between walking 10 steps and walking miles. Let's get moving. So picture this, an airplane to take off has to use its maximum energy at the start. Once it gets moving, it will gradually need less energy to keep going forward. Up to the point where it will take off and be in the air, fully moving, fully comfortable. At that point, it doesn't need the same amount of energy as the start. So I really want you to keep this in mind because taking this first step is the hardest part, but it will get you moving. And once you're moving, things will only get easier. And as long as you don't take that first step, things will remain impossible. My goal is to take you from inaction to action. Now let's start with the first action step, and that is self-reflection. Self-reflection is not just about asking yourself, why am I stuck? It's about listening to your inner voice. And to do so, what I want you to do is to pause the video and to write down on a piece of paper, what can I do to improve my life? So I repeat, what can I do to improve my life? I started doing that at the beginning and I realized that I needed to give a direction to my life. I wanted to get somewhere. I wanted to start moving, but where? And this question is very simple, but powerful because it will set a direction for you to go. For the plane to go somewhere, it needs, to, it needs a direction. So here it can be for improving your health, improving your relationships, improving your career. So identifying with this question, what can you do to improve your life? Because we all have a sense of knowing. I knew what I was doing that was wrong, that could be better. What I realized by asking that question was that it was much easier to try to take care of someone else and to want to take care of someone else than to take care of myself. I think we don't feel worthy of being taken care of. And this reminds me of a rule from the Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules for Life. Treat yourself as if you were someone you were responsible for helping. What it means is that taking care of your cat, your dog, your daughter, your son is much easier and feels natural. But when it comes to ourselves, we tend to avoid it. We tend to push that over. We tend to do bad decisions. But when it's for other people, it's easier. So keeping in mind that we're worthy of being taken care of and that we need to focus on taking care of ourselves. Ask yourself the question, what can you do to change? What can you do to improve your life? Now you can repeat this process several times because at the start you will have an answer and then you might have another one and it will keep you going forward. So for me, it was starting from, I can be doing anything. I was on the couch suffering the whole day to realizing I needed to take care of myself. I had to take action. So now the second part of the strategy is meant to help you to take action. And that is to set small but achievable goals because achieving goals will make you feel good. That's what I felt. I realized that having goals, well, gave me motivation. And once I achieved goals, I felt good. I was like, I was, I'm able to do something. I started by setting myself small goals, like walking in nature when I woke up to get myself moving and in action instead of going on the couch and doing nothing. From that, I was able to go from walking in the morning to doing sports. Then I started journaling because it felt good and it was allowing myself to feel better emotionally. And from there, it just went on and on because I felt capable of, because I achieved my small goal. It was also for me like meditating every day for five minutes, five minutes is not a lot. Some people meditate 30 minutes. And if you start with, I'm gonna meditate for an hour and you don't do it, 
well, you're just going to feel bad and you're going to stop the whole process. Whereas if you start with five minutes and then you realize I can do this, I can actually do this, even though it's small, then you can increase it because you'll feel more comfortable. If you put a goal that's too high, that's too far and that's too long to achieve, you won't get the reward from achieving it. You get a dopamine reward from achieving a goal and you have positive emotions. And that's very important when you don't have a direction. When you don't have goals, you're basically going nowhere and anxiety builds up. But when you put a direction and that you set a small but achievable goal to reach it, that can be small. The next step is slightly easier. So again, I want you to stop the video right now to pause it and to write down a small and achievable goal. That could be one, two, three, four, five, depends on you, wherever you are. For some people, like I was, very low i had to start with something small and just one and after doing one i was able to do a second one if you're more comfortable in a better place or somewhere where you're not far from achieving something you can just set a goal that feels right for you now the most important action step is offering and seeking support we're social creatures and we lack communities now where we can share connect I know we have social media, we have internet, everything that make it easier for us to connect, but we still feel isolated, especially when we suffer and we feel stuck. We tend to not share it. At least for me, when I was in that phase, I did not want to share my suffering with no one except the people I was very close to. The fact that I was so afraid of sharing with people made me feel alone, isolated, and it was terrifying. What happened is the moment where I decided to trust a friend and to reach out and to share. I was able to have a friend that listened without any judgment. And at that moment, I realized that I was not alone, that people could help and offer support. And I could expand my circle of experience because I was in a circle that was very small. I wasn't sharing. I wasn't doing anything. And from that moment, I realized that I could spend time with other people. I could share. I could be normal and that I didn't have to feel alone. And so it took away that sense of isolation and made me realize I was able to do a lot of things and that I could keep moving forward. The key element here is to realize that being able to share with people is the most important part in keeping you moving because once you take that step forward and now that you're moving, you wanna maintain that momentum. And to maintain that, having a community or group, people that you can share with, that you can connect with will help you stay motivated. So what I want you to do now is to ask yourself the question. You can pause the video and write down the name of people that you could connect with, that you know that would listen without any judgment. It doesn't have to be five people, just one is enough. The idea is to connect and to realize that you're not alone and that people are there for you. And if you share your journey, your goals, they're able to help you and keep you motivated. Because when it gets hard, having people to rely on will make the whole difference. At least for me, that's what it was. When I wanted to give up, people around me were helping me to not give up, to keep in mind my goal. And maybe it was for five days, maybe it's for a week or a month. It can be hard, but it will not last an eternity. Things will pass. There's a famous quote that is, this too shall pass. There you have it. The three action step to take you from standstill to moving. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to like and to subscribe to see more content like this. Please leave a comment of your goals, your fears, your story if you feel comfortable with it. My goal is to inspire people to take action because I believe that with action, you can change your life. And I also believe that with the community, we can grow and connect together and stay in the momentum to change. So I'll be also focusing on making a community for us to grow together. I really hope you can support this channel because it means a lot to me. I really want to be able to take this to the next level. I'm very thankful that you watched the video till the end. So don't forget, you're not alone. Take your step forward and let's grow together. See you in the next video.